Hey family, welcome to I Love Me, Me, Me in my love room. Today we are going to discuss 15 signs that you're with your the one. Okay, so stay tuned for this. So again, today's topic is 15 signs that you're with your the one. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I don't want this video to be too long. So the very first one is that you can talk to your person about anything. Doesn't matter if you guys... Uh, like what the topic is about but you can go ahead and bring up any topic and not feel some type of way like they're not going to take you seriously whatever the topic is like you, you you feel what i'm saying whatever the topic is you guys can talk about it. number two <laughs> you two laugh a lot like i am a big jokester and actually my boyfriend he is quite serious <laughs> but i'm noticing that throughout the course of our relationship he's actually lightening up a little bit more so i'm very happy about that because life is serious enough and i'm just not this quote unquote super serious person all the time work is one thing personal life completely different okay the third thing is that you both can be vulnerable with each other about your past pains and um even some of your um current pains you can open up and say you know what this is actually what's going on with me i'm feeling this type of way about it and i'm not so happy w whatever the situation is you guys can be vulnerable with each other number four you make each other a priority like just simple as that there are no excuses on why you guys are not hanging out or there are no excuses on why you can't do X, Y, and Z with each other at a specific time at a specific date. I get it that it's not going to always match up, but there, if there is some way that you guys can match it up, like um, coming together to do X, Y, and Z together, yes, you guys are making it a priority, just going back and forth and seeing what your schedules um, are so they can match up. So that's number four. Number five, you, uh, you or maybe your significant other is starting to do things that they wouldn't normally do like for instance uh <laughs> again i'll bring up my own boyfriend he he does not like to try a lot of different foods like he likes to stick with his native foods and uh that that, that is that's it so he's learning to open up <laughs> and try out more foods with me in particular because he still says no but i'm kind of like i'm giving him the puppy dog guys like do it for me do it for me and eventually he will do it so i think that it's cute but i'm glad that he's starting to open up so anyway doing things that he wouldn't normally do or she wouldn't normally do but they're doing with you um number six you guys make date night important now uh i've already mentioned one of the things but two of the things that i hear consistently with older couples that have been together for years and are making things work one already said they laugh a lot and now this one is they make dates for each other they consistently make dates they make it a priority for them to laugh a lot and for them to have dates so it doesn't have to be elaborate dates every single time like it could be a date night that you're doing inside the house but um you know whatever it is you put some thought into it it's not something that you're doing every single night um where you're make, making this elaborate plan to make date night so very special so anyway you guys make date night important with each other that's number six number seven you two respect each other yeah you respect each other and each other's opinions no matter what the opinion is <laughs> i didn't say that you guys are gonna always agree i said you respect each other's opinion you might not agree with it and that's just the reality of the way things go might not agree but that's okay you still respect them as a person and them being able to um have an actual opinion about a particular subject number eight you are not trying to change the person that you're with or you guys are not trying to change each other you are pretty comfortable with who you are with we all know that you are not going to get a hundred percent out of the person that you are with like a hundred percent of what you have in your mind about your ideal mate you're just not you're in a fantasy world if you think that but if you could get a really high percentage um I'm, they usually say 70 percent and above uh, i'm sorry not 70 percent 80 percent and above but obviously if you can the closer you can get to 100 percent, the better but um at least 80 percent that's like the norm the norm is 80% what you want, 20% you don't get. So if you're higher than 80%, you good. Okay, number nine. You just aren't a jealous mess. 
about each other. Like you're not worried about who the person is talking to, who they're texting, who they're hanging out with, or who they Facebooking with. You know, a lot of stuff happens on this Facebook <laughs> or um, even just social media in general. But uh, you're just not a jealous mess if somebody goes on his page and says, ooh, he looking sexy. Like you, you don't have control over what other people is saying to your partner. You just don't. And um, take it as a compliment because <laughs> it's funny because me and my boyfriend was actually joking about this the other day. I mean, I don't want him and don't nobody else want him. I mean, I'm sorry to say, I know that that kind of comes off as superficial, but we all want somebody that looks good to us. And that's the key. He might not look good to everybody, but he look good to me. And I'm sure I don't look good to everybody, but you know, I look good to him. You see what I'm saying? So you do want somebody that wants your man or that's going to say your man or even your girl look good. You, you do. You, you just do. Nobody wants to be with the ugly person. All right, I'm going to move on. <laughs> Number 10 is that you two have similar life and family goals. Are they going to match up 100%? Absolutely not. And uh, it would be kind of weird if they did, but you want them to be similar enough to know that, okay, this is not going to cause too much friction in our relationship like it might be the way you want to raise children it might be um how many times you guys pray together how many times you go to church together what type of um uh, uh careers you guys have i mean these are things that you just have to discuss and um just see what's aligning up and obviously the better uh, the more the better but of course they're just like anything else there are going to be some opposites or, or differences in the way um you might want to run your life or even your family goals but as long as you have most more similarities than um differences then you'll be good all right so that is number 10 number 11 is they want to make you happy and they can see that they can make you happy like we all want a happy relationship and we want our partner to be happy so like if i'm doing something special for you I want you to be happy about it. I want you to be excited about it, right? And you want that from your partner. You want them to think about you, um, not necessarily the exact same way that you think about them, but definitely enough for them to put some time, energy, and effort into making you happy. And number 12 is that you guys try and try new experiences together. There is nothing like you guys coming together and being able to say, hey, I tried that with him or he tried that with me. And guess what? It was fun and, and I did it with him. So, yes, try new experiences together, like whatever it is. <laughs> try it with your mate. Um, number 13, you actually like them for who they are currently. Again, number 8 was you're not trying to change them. So, 13, you like them for who they are currently. And in addition to that, you actually like being around them. You, you like being in a company. You're happy when they come around. Like, you smile when the door opens and it's them right so right you're not trying to change them you like them for who they are in this current time and you actually like being around them so that's number 13 number 14 they actually support your goals whatever it is it might be something crazy to them but guess what because you said it because it's something that you want to do they all for it they gun ho just like you are right that's number 14 number 15 is that they actually encourage you you got a goal, they encourage you to make sure that you mention it, um, to meet it, not mention it, to meet your goal. They encourage you to not give up, right? So these are 15 signs that you know that you are with your, the one. So anyway, go ahead and think about these things incorporate them into your life. If it's not matching up for you, you might want to think about um, changing your partner definitely changing your mindset so you can get what you truly want out of a relationship don't forget i am a certified relationship coach if you need help um in your relationship that you're currently in and you want to bring it back to a healthy relationship hit your girl up if you are a single person and you are looking to help yourself before you actually enter into a relationship hit your girl up um either on youtube messenger or through my um, Gmail account and that information is in the description box below go ahead and um, like this give me a thumbs up if you definitely enjoyed it and guess what I will see you guys in the next video deuces